Hey, we're Alex and Lars. We recently left land life to live aboard our 37 foot sailboat Navica full time. Join us as we document the ups and downs of our life on the water as we sail and explore new places. Welcome back. We're in the beautiful anchorage of Cala Moresca, which is on the northeastern coast of Sardinia. Just woke up. Lazar's literally just rolled out of bed and gone straight in the water. <laughs> he is floating around like a little water. We arrived at the anchorage the evening before, so the next morning decided to dinghy ashore for a walk before it got too hot. So we just got told off by this guy for coming in on our dinghy. And he's told us off twice now for coming in, so we're just rowing back because he's obviously I don't know. A lot of grump. A lot of grump for eight o'clock in the morning. It's that guy over there. Just over there. Later that day, we went for a swim before moving on to the next place and Lars made the most of us anchoring in slightly deeper water to go free diving. I didn't know where you were. Yeah, I was right behind you. I thought you were still on the boat. Good. Yeah, you look good down there. I think the training was helping. Really but imagine if you did that like every day. Yeah, seriously, I'd be down there easily for three minutes. Yeah. Well, easily. Yeah. <laughs> easily. Easily. That was right. Tomorrow, same time. <laughs> be here three minutes. Step <laughs> cold. Look at that island, that's insane. So we left our anchorage and we're now going to go to the town that's close by called Aranchi. Aranchi? Aranchi. Aranchi. I always think of Arancini, so maybe they were made here, who knows? <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to see if we can get a pizzeria because it's been too long, we haven't actually been online. We've been in Italy for a whole week and we haven't had pizza. What is this? Gotta fix it. Disaster. We made our way across to the nearest town, Golfo Aranchi. We didn't really know much about it before getting there. It wasn't on our list of places to see, but we were really pleasantly surprised and had a great time. 
It was once a small fishing town inhabited by a few locals, and today is home to a lovely harbour, a promenade, and a good mix of modern shops as well as many local bars and restaurants. So we just got to Aranci, and it's like an Italian Beverly Hills almost. It just feels like Venice Beach, or like everyone's got everyone's in like workout gear with their little dogs, <laughs> basically. So what's the plan, Stan? I'm just going to walk around a little bit and uh, see what's here. Grab a drink. Explore. Grab some pizza. Oh, I'm so excited for some pizza. Yeah. we got to choose our spot well. Someone on the app said that there was one that they recommended, so we can look at that one if you want. Okay, yeah. nice. Let's do that. It was really nice to see land, life, and a bit of culture again and see people enjoying an authentic Sardinian summer evening. Yo, how nice is this? It's very nice. It's like our first time on land for a little while. I mean, the boat's only over there, and we're <laughs> having a beer on the water, which, you know, you could argue that we could have done on the boat. <laughs> could definitely have done on the boat, right? <laughs> oh, we can't see the boat at the moment. It's behind. So yeah. But it's just nice to, like, come ashore, see other people, see the culture as well, because mm. we're here and we haven't actually, you know, experienced anything about Sardinia, so. First things first, Sardinian beer. <laughs> like that's the first way, then food. Yeah. So pizza, I can't wait. It's not actually the thing, it's not actually from here, but we're just really craving pizza. Um, it's good enough, yeah. <laughs> it's close enough. It's the closest we're gonna get to good pizza, right? True. You gonna manage that, Alex? <laughs> Pretty massive. <laughs> the next day, we provisioned up, and that evening, set sail north again to make our way back up the coast. We were a bit apprehensive about making our way back up north as the wind was supposed to be on the nose the whole way and we feared that beating up wind would take us all night. We got lucky in the end and had a sporty but absolutely beautiful close hauled sail up the eastern Sardinian coast. And the bonus of leaving that late in the day was the incredible sunset that we ended up getting. such a nice feeling. We'll get there late. I think by the time we get there, we'll want to get there. But for now, this is awesome. I love, yeah. I love being out there. Yeah, I know. So we just made it into the anchorage, 
It's about, what time is it? 10 past 10. So made the time that we basically said we thought we would. And yeah, not much to it. I'll six, oh, I can't speak. Not much to say really. Not much else to say really. Uh, how did you find that, Lars? Um, it's always a bit nerve wracking coming in in the dark. Like, uh, you feel things, like everything's so close. Yeah, and you worry that you're just going to hit something that's not lit. and that's It's right. really hard in the anchorage as well to kind of judge distances and know like where you should drop the hook. So we just played it safe and uh, dropped the hook behind everybody. A little bit deeper water, but it's fine. Lots of scope. Lots of scope. We've got the chain for it and it's chill. And then that way we don't make anybody nervous as well. <laughs> yeah. Had a nice sail over here though. It was amazing. It was such good winds. We had a good 16, 17 knots the whole way. And we just cruised on up at five knots, close hauled. Perfect. I'm glad we did it. We made good distance now. We did. Cool. Now to just chill. Yeah. Potato time. Are we actually going to make potatoes? It's a bit late, maybe. <laughs> Maybe just some popcorn in bed. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. No, we're not moving. That's just the anchorage. <laughs> we've woken up to a really rolly anchorage. So we've rolled out of bed and now we're just going to look at where to go next and leave and enjoy our coffee. We found another anchorage not too far away that was much more protected, so we decided to stay there for a couple of days and get on with some boat jobs. What's going on, Lars? You popping a squat? Uh, <laughs> I'm, um, so what I'm doing is um, we put on this new alternator a few weeks ago, um, and when I did that, there was just a few wires and things that I hadn't tidied up and hadn't attached, so I'm hooking up, I'm hooking up the uh, temperature gauge again, I'm hooking up a temperature sensor to the alternator. Thanks for watching and for following along and hit subscribe if you like our videos. Join us next time as we get into the routine of doing some sunset yoga on deck. We do some spring cleaning, do some laundry, install a new water tank and check out the beautiful area of Canigione on the northern coast of Sardinia. So we were really craving some pizza. Whoops. When I put in the new alternator, I didn't wire up the engine hour counter, which was kind of not good. Because now we've got loads of engine hours that aren't on the counter, which very public shouldn't put that on the internet. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how serious. I don't know how bad that it. Because like you know, when you come to buy a boat, it's like how many hours are on the engine? I'm like, well, it's only been like maybe ten or twelve okay. hours. Awesome.